Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Nitro. We are live from the VWF Arena. I am Isaac, a.k.a. Omega, as always. We've got a huge show for you tonight, but as you can see, both sides starting to draw lines in the sand between the Senshi and Al-Qaeda. And let's, let's take you to the ring. Abdallah bin Laden has a microphone. Uh, she asked for this time. Let's see what she has to say. Well, obviously, some big words from Abdallah bin Laden. There's X-23. Oh, my! Where do all these speeding cars keep coming from? All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. X-23 right there uh, literally just dodged, a, pretty much just dodged a bullet. But, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for our opening contest. Let me go ahead and... Uh, wish you a uh, happy Martin Luther King Day coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you have a great one. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, just kick back and relax because it is VWF Nitro where anything can happen. And we've got a big opener coming your way in just a few short moments. There you see Sakura Haruno who has kind of um, who has kind of, uh, for lack of a better term, kind of uh, faded, faded away here in, in the uh, Vixens Wrestling Federation. She's uh, had some success here and there, but so far yet to really make a huge statement. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is an opportunity for two women who have uh, recently struggled to make a statement and get right back in the title picture. Sakura Haruno already in the ring, and here comes her opponent, the winner of the 2010 Rose Knight Diva Invitational. And, of course, former co-commissioner of New Gen Wrestling, I'm talking, of course, about the master of unlocking, Jill Valentine. And she hits the ring at 100 miles an hour. She's ready for action. I spoke to her uh, before we went on the air, ladies and gentlemen. Jill Valentine really disappointed in herself two weeks ago, uh, wanting to make a huge statement in the title scene and could not do that. She fell short in a one-on-one -on -one contest against uh, one half of the Gold Wings. And I am talking, of course, about Yuna. All right, bell's gone. We are underway here. Sakura Haruno and Jill Valentine, two women desperately seeking a win here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, what a stacked card we've got coming your way tonight. It's the Senshi versus Al-Qaeda. Of course, our first contest pits Ray Hino against Lindsay. And ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening will be Tiffa Lockhart taking on Makoto Kino. 
So ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot of business to get to, and it's great to have you here once again, live here, live in the show. Uh, <laughs> let me try that again. Live from the uh, VWF Arena, yet another sellout, and this crowd is absolutely rocking. And right now, Sakota Haruno has the advantage. Oh my, and a big right hand sends Jill over the ropes 360. Jill Valentine looking to get back on track here. She struggled lately. Well, they both have. Hence why uh, these, this, this uh, match was made. To uh, so far, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this commentator hates to, uh, to uh, use the word underachieving, but uh, there's really not much else you can, you can say to uh, describe these two. So far, their tenure here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation has been kind of a letdown, especially from Sakura Haruna, who was so dominant in New Gen Wrestling, uh, famously in a uh, ultimate elimination match at NGW New Year's Bash. I believe it was either 08 or 09. You'll have to excuse me, uh, NGW historians. But it was, it was Sakura Haruno who dominated a, a women's ultimate elimination match, almost breaking a record for eliminations that was set by CCW's Amanda in 2006. And Sakura right now, a house of fire, absolutely taking it to Jill Valentine. So Sakura Haruno... While a lot of people were expecting her to uh, continue that success here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation, it just hasn't materialized. Sakura Haruno's just kind of faded into the mid-card, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. So she's looking to make a big statement here in the opening contest. As for Jill Valentine, when she came back uh, to the Vixens Wrestling Federation, she came in as the winner of the second annual Rose Knight Diva Invitational two years ago, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of expectations were put on her. We get a cover here. One, two, and only a two count. A lot of expectations fell onto the shoulders of Jill Valentine, and she just has not been able to live up to these almost unrealistic expectations. So, which of these two ladies will be able to get back on track here tonight? As I stated the last couple of weeks, with Queen Usagi as the champion, the field is wide open as far as uh, who wants to step up and try and uh, take a shot at the Vixens Wrestling Federation title. Big DDT there from Jill. Jill, of course, longtime competitor in DCW. She was a very longtime competitor in New Gen Wrestling. Definitely the experience edge here, but Sakura Haruno's been around a couple of years herself. One, two, and two is all she can get again. Jill Valentine, the Stars member. Oh my, rolled into a, went into a small package. One, two. Oh, almost got her. What a reversal from Sakura Haruno. And she follows that up with a bulldog. Now Sakura, off the ropes. Takes a chance and it connects. That beautiful senton splash. And now Sakura up again. Oh, went to the well one too many times with that 450. Jill rolled out of the way. Now Jill on the top. But Sakura catches her. Both women telegraphing some moves there. But now Jill reasserts herself on the top. Scores with a crossbody. Oh my, it's still anybody's match. And Jill now trying to uh, maybe signal for her signature move, the lockout. Over the ropes goes Sakura. Big right hand. Oh my. Oh, just a spiking DDT there. Sakura had no way to cover up, and that should do it. One, two. No, she didn't get her. Wow, some uh, major resilience here. Another small package. One. Oh, my referee a little bit out of position there. Otherwise, Sakura may have had a chance at winning this match. And now Jill over the ropes. And Sakura sends her crashing to the outside with a dry kick. And... Sakura once again takes to the air, and once again, it works to perfection. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, coming up tonight, Ray Hino, better known as Sailor Mars, squaring off against Lindsay. And in the main event, it's Makoto Kino against Tiffa Lockhart. It's the Senshi versus Al-Qaeda here tonight. Two, and once again, only a two count. This has been a, a solid uh, opening contest, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess I uh, need to focus on it uh, rather than just uh, setting up the rest of the show. Of course, the Vixens Wrestling Federation, 
No bathroom break matches here. Every match matters. They all mean so much, ladies and gentlemen. And we are so glad that you have decided to tune in to us here tonight on Monday Nitro. Oh, and a huge savat kick there from Sakura Haruno, the martial artist. And Sakura. Northern Lights suplex. Beautiful bridge. One. And only a one count. Oh, my. Uh, almost kind of uh, disappointing that she could only get a one, especially considering how well executed that Northern Lights suplex was. Now these two jockeying for position. Headlocked by Jill Valentine. Irish whip. Sakura off the ropes. I'll try to go for a power bomb. Walked into a Hurricane Rana. Hook of the leg. One. No. Reversed into a sunset flip. Two. Did she get her? No. Reversed again. Two. Reversed again. One. Two. Oh, my. How badly do these two want to make a statement here tonight in front of thousands of fans across the globe? 20,000 plus here in the VWF arena. Millions watching around the world. Which of these two women will make the statement? Wait a minute. A roll up. One, two. And once again, Jill gets out of the back door. Bulldog from Sakura. This match has suddenly just turned into a free for all. Seesaw battle here on the opening contest of Nitro. Like I said, there are no throwaway matches here. And Sakura scores with a full blossom. One, two. No! Oh my, Sakura might have gotten a little bit overzealous with that full blossom, and Jill used her own momentum to roll out of it. But you can tell the damage has been done. Jill is almost out on her feet. She leaps, nails with the knee drop. And that'll even the odds in a hurry. That could have just knocked all the wind out of Sakura. And now Jill, trying to get back in this one. She just withstood the full blossom. And now, looking to hit her signature move, the lockout. Into a headlock, European uppercut. Oh, Jill walks into another pinning predicament. One. When Jill watches the tape of this match, no matter how it goes, she's going to be extremely disappointed in herself that she has let her guard down so many times. She's walked into a bunch of cradles and hooks. And eventually, ladies and gentlemen, one of those is going to get you. Oh, a kip up from Jill. Boot to the midsection. Sakura almost out on her feet. Lockout. Jill caught the lockout. Will that be it? No, Sakura back up. Monkey flip. And Jill didn't even get a chance to go for a cover. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Hurricane Rana takedown. Now Sakura. Lion Salt. She missed. Perhaps caught herself a little bit so she wouldn't take any damage from missing that move. Oh, a knee lift right there. Deflected and a nice clothesline there by Jill Valentine. Both of these women deserve this one. And it makes you wonder how they've underachieved so far. Oh, my, here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. A championship caliber match here tonight to start off Nitro. Randy Orton style backbreaker there from the Stars member. And you can see Jill favoring her head. These two women have dished out a lot of punishment in this one. Off the ropes. Power bomb. No. Hur Hurricane Rana. Another hook of the leg. Will this be it? Two. It's over. Finally, Sakura finds the, uh, the opening. Finds the opportunity. Reverses a power bomb into a Hurricane Rana pin and takes the victory here tonight on Nitro. Oh, Jill Valentine is just going to be absolutely sick when she realizes how this one ended. Sakura never gave up, though. Give her so much credit. Looking for a way to win. All those small packages, roll-ups, and hooks. And finally, one of them connects, and Sakura's the winner. Wait a minute. Let's take you to the back.
Wow, interesting exchange there between Minako Aino and Queen Usagi. But now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the matches we've been telling you about, it's Rei Hino squaring off against Lindsay. Our first encounter between the Senshi and Al-Qaeda, and it happens right here, right now, here tonight on Nitro. And you can hear these fans, they will tell you the story. Because here comes Lindsay. Lindsay, kind of the uh, kind of the rebel of the group, if you will. Uh, she and Abdallah bin Laden uh, butt heads very, very frequently. But Al Qaeda is still a close knit unit, and they are still very dangerous, just as dangerous as the day they formed. Al Qaeda still bent on the destruction of the Vixens Wrestling Federation led by Abdallah bin Laden. And I'm sure Abdallah may have something up her sleeve here tonight. Her two disciples going into battle against the inner senshi. So, the question is, who will make the first statement? Who will fire the opening shot? Will it be that woman right there, Lindsay, a former NGW Women's Champion? Or, Will it be Ray Hino, better known as Sailor Mars? And ladies and gentlemen, I brought up a question last week. A lot of debate among the VWF faithful. Who do you root for when you hate both sides? These fans have no love lost for Queen Usagi, but they certainly have no love lost for Al-Qaeda. And now these fans on their feet. Perhaps showing just a little bit more support for the Senshi. Because here comes Ray Hino. Oh my! And Ray Hino looking to fire up here, if you will. And these fans on their feet. They may not be able to stand Queen Usagi, but they love Ray Hino. What a competitor! What an athlete, and what a warrior. Ray Hino kind of uh, has drawn the uh, attention of Queen Usagi, if you will, uh, being bossed around a little bit more than her compatriot Makoto Kino. But Ray, of course, ever resilient. And tonight she will uh, go full bore at Lindsay here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ray Hino, ever the competitor. Even though she may not like being under the uh, leadership of Queen Usagi, if you will, that won't stop Ray Hino from giving it 110% in this contest against Lindsay. And off we go. Lindsay now. Well, try. We'll, we'll never know what she was going for. She's. Oh, my. Thumb to the eye on Ray Hino. Ray was going to try. And press the advantage there, but Lindsay turns that into a neck breaker. And Lindsay now stomping away. The interesting thing, ladies and gentlemen, is is, is these fans aren't really booing Lindsay and they're not really booing Ray. They're just kind of just taking it all in. And ladies and gentlemen, uh like I said, how do you choose sides? How do you choose sides in this feud between Al-Qaeda and the Senshi? Lindsay now with a go behind on Ray into a slingshot suplex. It connected. Lindsay now going with an arm bar. Perhaps uh, softening Ray Hino up for the STFUB. And she's going right back to it, continuing to tweak that arm and try and pull it uh, in a direction it was not meant to go. Ray scores with a DDT there. Nice reversal. Lateral press, hook of the leg. One. And one is all she can get. Ray, though, nailed that splash. Go behind from Lindsay. Elbow by Ray Hino into a well-executed spinning heel kick. Ray Hino off the ropes. Missed. Oh, my. Did you hear how hard Ray connected with the canvas? And Lindsay right now just content 
to slowly but surely physically dissect Rayhino. Just kind of taking her time here, pacing herself. No matter which side you support, ladies and gentlemen, this would be a huge statement for one of these two sides to make in this war. Like I said from the onset, who will fire that opening shot? Who will fire the shot heard around the world? Will it be Ray Hino on behalf of the Senshi, or will it be Lindsay on behalf of Al-Qaeda? Lindsay, with control, fires Ray into the turnbuckle. Oh, and Lindsay follows it up with a shoulder charge. Ray in trouble. Oh, my. Just ducked out of the way of that kick. That would have been about a 50-yard field goal. Knee deflected. Lindsay, a couple of right hands, and over the ropes goes Ray. Oh, my, she fell in a heap, just absolutely ragdolled her way to the outside. And Lindsay right now content to just show off in front of these fans. And uh, they're letting her know what they think of her. And wait a minute. These fans trying to keep Lindsay distracted. Ray sets up and nails that flying move. Oh, my, a high-risk maneuver connected. That could do it. One, two, and only a two count. There's your fan interaction for you. These fans took their time trying to get Lindsay distracted and it helped Ray regroup. Who's to say fans can't get involved in a wrestling match? And now listen to these fans. Trying to fire Ray Hino up here. Trying to help her stay in this match. Oh my, a nice trap. Belly to belly suplex there from Lindsay. Take nothing away from Lindsay. She is a former NGW Women's Champion as well as a former NGW Internet Vixens Champion. No stranger to gold is Lindsay. And a nice fisherman suplex there. Still to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening will be the other half of this uh, confrontation, this, 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 this opening round of the Senshi versus Al-Qaeda. It will pit Tiffa Lockhart against Makoto Kino. You do not want to miss that one, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a killer main event. And right now, Ray Hino better watch out. Oh, my. No, she was able to get loose. That definitely would have been a match ender right there. Ray on top. She leaps and connects. Oh, my. But maybe she didn't connect all the way with Lindsay. Lindsay stayed on her feet. That time, Ray Hino took her down. Nice spinning heel kick once again. Ray Hino, better known as Sailor Mars, trying to defeat Lindsay here. But Lindsay jumped out of the way on that lion salt. Lindsay now picks Ray up. Ray in a lot of trouble. Ray being thrown over here in front of me. Referee with a 20 count to work with here. Ray fired on the inside. Lindsay giving chase. Oh, tried to go up on the top, but she telegraphed it. Now Ray on the top. Going to show her how it's done. No, Lindsay sidestepped it. And now Ray goes face first into the post. And again. And Ray Hino looks like she's just about out. Lindsay perched on the top. She takes a moment to measure her opponent. Just, well, just waiting there. Where's the five count, ref? Lindsay leaps and nails that clothesline. And that could have been the climax blow right there. That could have just done it. No, Lindsay not finished yet. Sidewalk slam. Lindsay has controlled about three-fourths of this contest. What a statement it would make, ladies and gentlemen, if Lindsay was able to take this one on behalf of Al-Qaeda. Irish whip, Ray off the ropes, looking almost lifeless. And another one of those Ultimate Warrior-style shoulder tackles from the former champion. And Lindsay now just stalking her prey. Oh, she was going to try and go for the FUB, but Ray scouted it. She was ready for it. And now a Hurricane Rana pin to... Oh, my. Lindsay just barely kicked out in time. Ray not giving up, though. Giving chase, but an arm bar there from Lindsay. Shot to the back of the shoulder. Luthes press. Fist and fire. Fist and fire from Lindsay. And Lindsay now. Right back in control. Ray Hino right back in trouble again. Now Lindsay on the top, taking a risk. Nails that fist drop. 
Oh my, you can hear the, her fist cracking against Ray's skull. And now, oh, these fans not liking this at all. The five finger shuffle. Got it. And that could do it. Lindsay now has her set up perfectly. She's going to go for the FUB. Can she hit it? Yes, she caught it all the way. And that'll do it. But why isn't Lindsay going for a cover? This match is over. Now she makes a cover, and it's an illegal one. Come on, ref. And Ray kicks out. That moment of hesitation from Lindsay is what made the difference. Now Ray back up. This 20,000 plus trying to lend her some of their energy. And Ray, oh my, what a move there. One, two, no, reverse by Lindsay. Two, it's over. Oh my, Ray Hino mounted a furious comeback but it just was not enough against the former NGW Women's Champion, Lindsay. A gallant effort, no doubt, on the part of Sailor Mars, Ray Hino. Ray almost completed the comeback there. She hit a modified version of the Rolling Mandala, and I thought, ladies and gentlemen, that it was over. I thought Lindsay was put away, but she reversed it. Perhaps we'll see a replay here. Yes. Look at that reversal. You may love Lindsay. You may hate her. But you cannot take away from the fact that she is a true tactician in that ring. And that's what made the difference here tonight. And thus, Al-Qaeda hits the opening shot. They get to send the first message. They draw first blood on the Sailor Senshi. And I'm sure Queen Usagi will not be happy when Ray Hino gets back to the dressing room. Oh my, you got your your heart's gotta go out to Ray Hino. She's got a chewing out coming from Queen Usagi, I'm sure. But it was still a match well fought. Now we're taking you to the back with the tag team champions. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another big singles competition. Excuse me. Let me try that again. I'm so excited that I can't even. I'm a, I can't even keep up, ladies and gentlemen. A huge contest singles competition coming your way. And there you see one half of Tequila Sunrise, the former tag team champions. I'm talking, of course, about the Zero Fighter Reiko Hinamoto. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I may mess up sometimes on commentary. I may blow it sometimes, but you talk about a true competitor, a, 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 a consummate athlete, a dominant athlete. You're talking about Reiko Hinamoto. And she's going to have to uh, really work hard to exert that dominance because she's going in there against a former hardcore champion. But there you see Mickey James former WWE Women's Champion. She was the first ever Vixens Wrestling Federation Hardcore Champion. Last week, of course, ladies and gentlemen, she was defeated in singles action by Riku of the Ghoul Wings. So now Mickey looking to uh, try and rebound here tonight, and what a way to rebound it would be if she could somehow find a way to upset Reiko Hinamoto. Perhaps two of the Vixens Wrestling Federation's best athletes squaring off in this one. Reiko Hinamoto, one half of the former tag team champions against Mickey James. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, as always, may I remind you that the Vixens Wrestling Federation is the league that stays in touch with you, that connects to you, the fans. You can find us on Facebook or Twitter. On Twitter, search for the hashtag 
BWF Wrestling. And now Reiko with Mickey. You can kind of expect a uh, back and forth matchup in this one. Two very evenly matched competitors. You're talking about Mickey James, a veteran. Oh my. Nice hurricane runner there from Reiko. Mickey, a veteran of World Wrestling Entertainment and Impact Wrestling. And then you're talking about Reiko Hinamoto. The longtime Rumble Roses veteran and a longtime competitor in all of Japan FWA. And Mickey now with a couple of kicks. Look at the height that Mickey James is giving up here. She's certainly one of the shortest competitors, but she is, of course, one of the biggest on heart. You talk about big things coming in small packages, Mickey James is just as dangerous as anybody. Nice hurricane run up once again by the zero fighter, Reiko Hinamoto. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, a few moments ago we saw the champions, Haruka and Michiru, seemingly uh, they have some kind of a scheme up their sleeve, which uh, comes as no surprise to this commentator. And you have to wonder uh, what they're going to do to try and force Tequila Sunrise's hand. Could we have a sixth encounter? between Tequila Sunrise and Haruka and Michiru. Well, Reiko Hinamoto had better stay focused. She can't worry about that. She's got to focus on the task at hand here. She's in there against a former women's champion. And look at this. Shades of Triple H with that modified figure four. Reiko now picking Mickey up. Mickey thus far has not really been in this one, but that'll help. Nice side Russian leg sweep. Mickey trying to clear the cobwebs. Oh, and just a thunderous impact with the turnbuckle. And I think Reiko Hinamoto may have moved the ring. Oh, my goodness. And Mickey wasting no time. She's a veteran. She knows that when you've got your opponent down, you've got to press the advantage. Lateral press. This could do it. One, two. No, only a two count. Referee quick to signal a two count there. Mickey staying on the offensive. Oh, my. Just a clubbing blow over the throat of Reiko. And she elbow drops nothing. Coming up a tie-up. Go behind from Reiko. A shot to the lumbar region. And a clothesline sends Mickey down. And a huge neck breaker there. Lion Salt connects. Reiko pouring it on. Another Lion Salt. And it connects. A third, maybe. No, this one's a Moon Salt, and it connects just the same. This one's over. One, two. Wow, no. Mickey kicks out. Unbelievable. Northern Lights suplex from Reiko. Reiko not to be deterred. Oh, my! And drives an elbow right into the heart of the former WWE Women's Champion. And now we've got a sleeper here. Mickey has nowhere to go. She has not been in this match at all, ladies and gentlemen. I thought this would be a back-and-forth match. But thus far, it's been all Reiko. Reiko now giving chase into the corner. Down goes Mickey. Reiko measures again and nails another drop kick. The former tag team champion is absolutely pouring it on. The former VWF hardcore champion. German suplex. What has Mickey got to do here just to try and get back in it? Reiko dominating this one, and these fans are loving it. Tequila Sunrise, of course. Perhaps one of CAW's most popular tag teams. These fans love Reiko and Dixie. And I'm sure wherever she is, Dixie is looking on, worried about her tag team partner. Wait a minute. Small package from Reiko. One. And only a one count. Right back into another one of those well-executed neck breakers. Boy, any time that Mickey James tries to get an offensive series going here, Reiko immediately cuts it off. 
And right there you saw the Sunrise Cutter. Excuse me, the Fireman's Carry Gutbuster, I apologize. Now we may see the Sunrise Cutter. No, I, I know what this looks like. Rako setting Mickey up for the Angel Dive. Oh, misjudged it. But Rako right back up. She doesn't even seem like she was slowed down. Wait a minute. Roll it from Mickey. One, two. Oh, my, almost got her. And just like that, Mickey could have gone from being blown away here by Rako into uh, stealing a victory. But it was not meant to be. But now Mickey has a huge opportunity. She cannot afford to waste it. Oh, another small package from Rako. One, two. That one got her. It's over. And ladies and gentlemen, I think tonight's action has shown you that victory can come in a matter of a split second. And in this match, it was no different. Reiko Hinamoto puts away Mickey James with the small package. And you got to really feel for Mickey here, who has really been on a losing streak as of late. You just hope that she's not going to fade away from the Vixens Wrestling Federation entirely. She is way too good for that. But tonight, Reiko was the... Oh, no. Not this again. That's Haruka. Just blindsided Reiko with that steel chair. Where's security? Where is security when you need them? And Haruka sn uh, just <laughs> snuck up like a thief in the night. And just another cowardly act on the part of the outer senshi. I don't I don't think that the words honor and fairness are even in the vocabulary of Haruka and Michiru. Just another sickening display. Oh my god. Just another detestable act on the part of the tag team champions. And ladies and gentlemen, they almost they, they almost tarnish the tag team titles. Yes, they're a great tag team. But they are two very contemptible people, and Hanukkah is showing you that here tonight. Reiko just got a huge victory over Mickey James, and she can't even stop to celebrate. But that's been the case for the last three months. Oh, Hadika. Oh, no. Don't. Don't do this. Don't do this, Hanukkah. Give me a break here. Oh, no. Going for the ground. Shaking. Oh, my God. We gotta get some help for Reiko here. And I, I, I can only hope that Hanukkah and Michiru get theirs when they meet up with Tequila Sunrise once again. Oh my god.
Needless to say, I don't think that Queen Usagi can depend on the help of Ami Mizuno or Minako Aino. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event. Once again, the Senshi Clash against Al-Qaeda, and it's Makoto Kino squaring off against Tiffa Lockhart here tonight on the main event of Nitro. And it certainly appears after tonight that Queen Usagi is certainly almost on her own against the combined forces of Al-Qaeda. Of course, uh, Ray Hino and Makoto Kino, you, can, you only imagine that they hang around Usagi just because they have to. It was part of the uh, stipulations of that Inferno match back at Fem Fatale between Ray Hino and Usagi that Ray and Makoto must follow her orders at all times. And of course you can tell that they don't appreciate it. But of course uh, it was optional for Minako and Ami and well, <laughs> you can see what happens when Usagi uh, tried to go around just, just asking for some uh, optional help if you will. Um, needless to say Minako and Ami have opted out. Tiffa Lockhart, of course, in the ring, the former number one contender. And these fans on their feet, ready for the main event. And here comes Makoto Kino, better known as Sailor Jupiter. And Makoto looking to uh, score a huge victory here tonight. Not only would it help restore pride into the Senshi, but ladies and gentlemen, of course, any and all singles contests, I'm sure, have a bearing on the chase for the uh, Vixens Wrestling Federation title. You never know when one victory is going to help get you over the hump, if you will. And Makoto definitely looks ready. She hits the ring at 100 miles an hour. Makoto never lacks motivation inside that squared circle. Oh my, but she's going to really have to have some help here from the fans if she even hopes to defeat the former NGW Women's Champion and former NGW Women's Tag Team Champion, Tiffa Lockhart. But now these two just starting off with a feeling out process. Oh my, drop kick deflected. Tiffa, a veteran move there, deflected it. But uh, don't count out the experience of Makoto Kino either. She's been wrestling just as long as Tiffa Lockhart. Of course, earlier tonight, Lindsay was able to defeat Ray Hino. And I'm sure that Queen Usagi has probably had a long talk with Makoto Kino. I'm sure emphasizing how much a victory would help to restore a little bit of pride into the Senshi. Ladies and gentlemen, we're only a couple of weeks away from our next click per view, ladies and gentlemen, which is entitled Rumble Roses. It will feature the 20 woman over the top rope battle royal. And the winner of that battle royal will go on to Vixen Mania to challenge for the Vixens Wrestling Federation Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, it comes your way in just a few short weeks. And ladies and gentlemen, you, you, you've already seen how uh, entertaining and intense Vixens Wrestling Federation action can be so don't waste another minute call your local internet provider and tell them you want to go ahead and be a part of it secure your seat and secure your viewing rights to Rumble Rosen because ladies and gentlemen I'm sure it's going to be a click per view to remember and I think we all are still just now starting to move on past Fem Fatale what a crazy uh, click per view that was and I'm sure that Rumble Roses will just will, will meet, if not beat, the expectations. Perhaps set the bar even higher here in the Vixens Wrestling Federation. And uh, while I was doing that uh, shameless plugging, Tiva Lockhart right now with control over Makoto. Oh, Makoto fired face first into the turnbook, and I think I think she was favoring her throw there. Oh my but now showing no ill effects with that German suplex. Makoto 
upset minded here tonight. You have to you, you have to consider it a huge upset if Makoto were able to take the victory over Tiffa Lockhart. And now these two trading blows. 20,000 plus on their feet. They've been waiting for this one. Oh my, but what a huge right hand there from Tiffa. And if Tiffa could take the victory here tonight, wow, what, what a message uh, sent by Al-Qaeda it would be. That sentence had horrible sentence structure. I am so sorry. I want to take this opportunity to apologize to all of the English teachers I ever had. <laughs> Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, some nights are just better than others. But that's not the case with these two competitors in the ring. You can never take an off night. You can never phone it in. Because in the Vixens Wrestling Federation, it's the pinnacle of CAW competition. And Tiffa right now just content to take a walk around the squared circle. Referee with a 20 count to work with Makoto. Not trying to force the issue here. Maybe a, a, perhaps a wise move on her part. Tiffa catching her breath, regrouping. And these two just staring each other down. Now Tiffa back in. Caught Makoto off guard. No, maybe she didn't. Maybe Makoto played possum. Irish whip, Tiffa off the ropes. Leapfrog from Makoto. Tiffa back again. Oh, but counters in into a loot that's pressed fist and fire. And Tiffa now pressing the advantage. Coming up a tie up. Oh, my. Backdrop. High impact move there. And Makoto in trouble. No, Makoto in a lot of trouble. These fans trying to. Perhaps trying to encourage her, trying to will her to the finish line. They're chanting for her. These fans leaving it, not leaving it up to chance as to who they support. They are 100% behind Makoto. But Tiffa, no stranger to working against the crowd. Oh, my, just a huge knee going right into the temple of Makoto Kino, and that could have been a knockout blow. And Tiffa knows it. Tiffa sniffs blood, going for a choke slam. Power display here, no. Makoto with a couple of elbows and a nice close line. And just like that, Makoto right back in it. Oh, measured her for that elbow. Lateral press. One, two, and two is all she can get. Oh, nice Pele kick there from Makoto. And Makoto now trying to string something together here. Slowing the, down the pace, trying to slowly wear out Tiffa Lockhart. Now Makoto bringing Tiffa back up and a nice spinning heel kick. Makoto scores with the lion salt. Can Makoto do it? Can Makoto overcome the odds and upset the former number one contender? Makoto, a power display here. Showing that she can match power for power with Tiffa. Doing some reps. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my, and I think Makoto maybe got a little bit overzealous there. I mean, it's great to have a power display. I mean, it really uh, ups the intimidation factor, but you've got to finish the move. You've got to follow through. And Makoto right now learning that lesson the hard way. Makoto with a power display for the highlight reel, but it did her no good. In fact, it actually gave Tiffa a moment to recover. And now, oh my, come on, referee. Where's the five count? Referee not involving himself in this one. To use a uh, football and basketball term, they are letting them play. And oh no, Tiffa tuning up the band here. Meteor kick, meteor kick, got it! And the lights just got turned out for one Makoto Kino. She's out on her feet. Final heaven coming, no inverted DDT. Makoto was waiting for her. One, and only a one count. But Makoto now with a, a second life 
if you will. Boy, it would have been over if Tiva would have connected with that final heaven. Owen Makoto once again showing that she's no slouch in the weight room and a big drop kick in the corner. Uh, but Tiva right back up, clothesline, and a big right hand. But Makoto kips up. This one a long way from done. And a clothesline of her own. Now, picking Tiffa up. No, she's scooting her over. Oh, flight of Jupiter. One, two, she got her. No. Oh, my. Oh, that was close. Makoto just about pulled off the upset. Tiffa fired into the buckle. Makoto. Not letting her, oh my, oh my, she wasn't letting up, but now Tiffa with a headlock. Tiffa desperately trying to slow her down. But right now, Makoto, an absolute house of fire. That adrenaline is pumping through her veins. And now, Tiffa almost looking lifeless. And Makoto on the top, knee drop. And if Tiffa Lockhart had any wind left in her lungs, they just took him out. And, oh, tried to go for a shooting star press, but Tiffa rolled out of the way. Now Tiffa with an opportunity. Go behind into a backdrop. Tiffa, a lot has been taken out of her in this match. She really had to muscle Makoto over. Tiffa. Showing some signs of weakness, perhaps. And on we go. These two trading blows. Makoto, Irish whip. And giving chase in the corner. Oh, the ref just got taken out. Oh, Tiffa pulled the ref. Out. Oh, my gosh, she's got a chair. Oh, no. And, and Lindsay revised the ref. Oh, no, not like this. Oh, no. Give me a break. Give me a break. This is ridiculous. And once again, Al-Qaeda with nothing to be proud of. Tiffa Lockhart was done. This one was over. Makoto was on her way to a huge upset. And then, of course, she pulled the ref. And I, referee got taken out. He got wiped out. Lindsay took the opportunity to give Tiffa a chair. Ugh, give me a break here. Now we've got Abdallah in the ring calling out Queen Usagi. Oh, what else can we expect here tonight? I'm going to lay out here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here comes the champion. Her since she have been taken apart here tonight by Al-Qaeda. So, what does the Vixens Wrestling Federation champion have on her mind? Let's take you back to the ring.
Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, at Rumble Roses, it's going to be the champion Queen Usagi putting the title on the line against Abdallah, the number one contender. And they can't wait for Rumble Roses. These two brawling it out. Here comes Ray. And now Abdallah getting a taste of her own medicine. And ladies and gentlemen, maybe we are starting to pick sides here. Oh no, here comes the rest of Al Qaeda. But now it's an even match. It's an even fight now. It's Lindsay and Tifa in there against Ray and Usagi. Now we've got an even two on two. Now the odds are even. The odds perhaps getting better for the Sailor Senshi. And maybe, just maybe, perhaps these fans have chosen a side. Maybe they have aligned themselves with the Sailor Senshi. I didn't think I'd be saying that. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Al-Qaeda is bent on the destruction of the entire Vixens Wrestling Federation. And perhaps, maybe, heaven help me, the Senshi are the only ones who can stop them. Maybe they are the only ones left who can stop them. And Ray, clearing out the ring with a chair. We're out of time. Good night. God bless. See you next week.